woman lies, tears in her eyes. But will it lead to a man's demise? You'll find each coin has two sides. In today's repulsive reality. User Concerned Wife 123 writes to relationship advice. My husband just bought a really expensive sex doll and it's really getting to me. I've been married to my husband for seven years now. I'm a 29 year old female, he's a 32 year old male. For a few months to a year now, I've been saying no to sex. A lot. I've just not been in the mood, but his libido has been at the same sky high levels that they've been since we were college kids. Can you believe that? What a freak. He should just not want it at all. It's been almost a decade. Some days when I'm in bed, tired, he starts touching me, trying to get me primed for sex, trying to engage my sex mode. Most times I'm not in the mood, but sometimes I cave into his begging. I felt as his wife it was my duty, but I never enjoyed any of those sessions. Did that make it struggle snuggling? So I made my feelings known to him. At first he seemed really down, but he said he respected my decision. He stopped asking me for sex after that. Even when he asked after I said no, he would just roll over and go to bed. After a month or two, he suddenly comes home with a sex doll. It was a really expensive one too, huge tits, round ass, with a very human-like skin. When I confronted him about it, he said he had sexual needs, and since I couldn't satisfy them, he had to find a way to satisfy them without cheating. When he said that, I felt like I couldn't say anything. But you were dying to. It made me feel really insecure, and I suddenly felt really awful. How could he make you feel this way? I can't tell him to get rid of it because it'll make me look really selfish, but you wanna. I also can't complain about how expensive it was because we're pretty well off, but you wanna. I noticed one night that I was in the mood, but he told me he was tired. Yeah, doesn't feel good, does it? <laughs> he had a few rounds with the sex doll before I got home and was pooped. I don't know what to do at this point, but I know that I feel awful. Uh-huh. So after the comment section just tears this ignorant uh, woman a, a new one, my favorite comment being from Realization Hurts, sorry hun, you played yourself with this one. And another comment by Straw Hat Moochie, honestly, you have to admire the guy, at least he ain't banging randos. Serves her right though, I think it's extremely selfish for a person to act like this in marriage. Sure, there are valid times to reject bing bong, but not for months. It's a deal breaker. Come on. Y'all ain't have y'all ain't got no kids either. Shh. You know, find somebody you're compatible with. How about that? You just thought sex was not gonna happen. So here's where the plot thickens, ladies and gentlemen. The husband finds this account that this woman has been updating to and hits everybody with what I like to call the real story. Oh my god. But this will not space properly, so I don't know what to tell you. Mm. I'm just going to have to read it. And you're going to have to try your best to be with me. I wonder if I reload it, if it'll work. Give me a second. Try reloading it at this aspect ratio. Nope, it still just goes clean off the page. I don't know what to tell you. Crazy stuff. Well, update. It's been rough, but here it goes. Sometime yesterday or the day before, my wife posted a story about how I got a sex doll because she didn't have the libido and couldn't bring herself to have sex as often as I wanted. She posted it on four different subreddits with her post here on relationship advice garnering the most attention. Here is what actually happened. Firstly, we have, been, we have not been married for seven years. I feel like this lie is the lie she told so she could pass it off as a long relationship. We have only been married for four years. When we first started dating, her sex drive was almost as high as mine, still wasn't close, but it wasn't this bad. We got married and it was still the same 
After the second year, she suddenly became more detached and less affectionate. The sex wasn't the only thing, but it became telling when we would only have sex once a month. It did become telling. So I asked her to go to therapy with me. She obliged after much convincing, but she barely made any progress. We came to a compromise with the therapist where we would tab when we wanted to have sex on a sort of wall note. And then the other person would have to eventually answer this at their own time and preference. If the tab remained on the wall longer than a week, there would be a penalty, which is private. As at the time I'm writing this, I have about 17 unanswered tabs. She just began ignoring them. <laughs> so what happened was I came to her and I told her, if she wasn't interested in sleeping with me, I might as well get divorced. Now here's the tricky part. She's an immigrant. She got her green card through me. As at when I told her I had forgotten that she would need me to renew it, she broke down in a crying fit, begged me to reconsider. She told me that she was just going through a lot and she didn't want to talk about it. I felt bad and I told her that it was fine and I still loved her. However, that was when I decided to get the sex doll. I regret not telling her. Before I did it, honestly, I do. But her follow-up reaction made me lose all form of regret. She got mad and told me to get rid of it and get a flashlight. <laughs> she jealous of the sex doll. She told me that it was like a real human being and I was cheating on her with it. She began telling her friends that I'm a loser. That's grounds for dismissal. That is not wife behavior. She showed, she showed me her friends' opinions and they mostly sided with her. I told her they were biased. She comes to me the next day telling me a bunch of internet strangers on her relationship forum agree with her and that I was being misogynistic and a pig. Oh, God bless you what you got to put up with. I asked to see the forum and she tells me that she logged out of the account and forgot her password. A likely story. Objection. I told her my mind is made up. You know, I logged out. Oh, I forgot the password. You know, I can't change my, my, my mind now. She, she comes to me. I know you're doing this to get me to sleep with you, and that's sexual coercion. Wait a minute. Apparently something on Twitter made her, made about how a boyfriend kept begging his girlfriend for sex blew up, and the comments were about how that's wrong and it's sexual coercion and, and struggle snuggle. And I became paranoid that she could actually accuse me of this. When she was gone, I logged into her computer to see if I could actually check what was posted. When I stumble upon her Reddit with the same password as her laptop, which I've known for a while, I'm dumbfounded. I'm dumbfounded. Hear me out. I know it's wrong for me to snoop, but she posted the altered version of our story on different boards, with the only one of them agreeing with her being the radical feminist gender critical. She has absolutely deleted the posts now, but I saved the links, and I think the one she posted on Am I the Asshole makes a copy of the original message. Here are the posts. When I confronted her about it, she went into a rage of how I'm an asshole for invading her privacy, and I should really consider her feelings. Oh, you should consider, you know, her feelings when she's posting your business all over the internet. And taking it to your friends, you know, oh, my husband bought a sex doll. What a loser he is. It's like some people, it's like some people can like open palm slap somebody in the face 50 times throughout their lifetime. And when they get that one slap back, they're in tears on the ground on their knees. I can't believe I'm being treated this way. It's unfair. Jesus. Here's the icing on the cake, ladies and gentlemen. Here's what made me want to read this whole post, okay? The chick left a comment, right? And we're going to read that right now. Here's, here's the post that she put. Would I be able to get my husband to leave me alone if I hit him with a sexual coercion charge and face no repercussion? 
I know nothing about the law, so forgive me if this seems stupid. This is the second place I've come to with this train of thought after legal advice, which didn't offer much help. I am an Indian immigrant who came to the U.S. to study. I met this wonderful man four years ago and we got married. I got my green card through him. Sometime last year, I lost a lot of libido and stopped being interested in sex. I had sex once a week while he wanted it or twice a day. My libido used to match his when we first got married, no longer. So one day, I came up to him and told him I was no longer interested in sex and told him I, I would appreciate it if he stopped asking. A month later, he told me if we were no longer sexually compatible, he would want to seek a divorce. It's funny how the story just changes. What happened to the sex doll? The thing is, if I divorce him, I won't be able to renew my green card. Right now, I feel miserable, so I'm thinking, will I be able to get him convicted of something related to sexual coercion slash rape without having any backlash on myself? This is a woman's line of thought, and she typically has this kind of power. And the only thing that screwed her over in this instance is the fact that she voiced it out loud to the wrong people. Because if she voiced it to the right people, they probably could have helped her do this. But thank God she was stupid enough to do it on the internet. This is the spiciest thing that I've read in a while. And it's because this woman was full on stupid. She says, please, if this sounds dumb, don't shame me. I don't have the money to get a real lawyer right now. And my friends tell me this is a good idea. And her friends in real life are reinforcing that this is a good idea. So someone in the comment rightfully says, I think he's the one being used. Somebody else says they always resort to rape charges when their fantasy world falls apart. That's not to say all women are evil or liars. Some are truly stupid and out to ruin innocent men's lives. And that's what this hoe is out here trying to do. And I guess what am I trying to do by making this video? Make episode one of a repulsive reality? Or am I trying to clue you into the idea that women like this walk among you? And not just women, but people. Be careful, man. Be careful. This is the dude's wife. This is the dude's wife. And it doesn't matter if it's your brother, your sister, your mom. When people do things and it's not right, recognize that. Get away from them. Stop. Get some help. <laughs> you know what I mean? Jesus. This poor man was in this situation with this woman. And let's face it, there were probably signs that he ignored, that he figured, oh, that's just typical of a, of a relationship. Don't, don't excuse it. Don't make it seem like it's just something that's typical. Bruh. Don't, don't tolerate stuff. Because the only crippling thing in this instance is, is with how crazy she was, she was still able to find a bunch of people to back her up and be like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Immortalized on the internet now. Immortalized on the internet now, boy. See you guys in the next one.